so we were talking about the feeding habits of animals like the herbivores and the rodents like your rats rabbits and squirrels that have long and sharp front teeth in order to gnaw the fruits and seeds moving on to the next group of animals are the carnivores so carnivores are animals that eat the flesh of other animals carnivores like lions tigers and jackals that eat the flesh of other animals have sharp and pointed canines to tear the flesh so the teeth of these animals need to be very sharp in order to tear open the flesh of the other animals so the carnivores like your lions jackals tigers they have they have sharp and pointed canines to tear the flesh they also have strong grinding teeth to chew the flesh and crush the bones so they have sharp and pointed canines to tear the flesh and the grinding teeth they have strong grinding teeth to chew the flesh and break the bones birds of prey that is your eagles and kites have strong sharp and hooked beak and claws to catch hold and tear the flesh so you see that birds of prey that is your eagles and your kites use not only their beaks but also their claws to catch hold and tear open the flesh of other animals so they have strong sharp and hooked beak and claws to catch hold and tear the flesh many aquatic animals like your sharks too are carnivores so aquatic animals like your sharks are also carnivores they have strong jaws and sharp teeth so the jaws the jaws of an aquatic animal is very uh, strong and the teeth is very sharp so this is about the carnivores so the carnivores like your lions tigers and jackals have that eat the flesh of other animals have sharp and pointed canines so their canines are sharp and pointed to tear the flesh they also have strong grinding teeth to chew the flesh and crush the bones birds of prey that is your eagles and kites have strong sharp and hooked beak and claws to catch hold and tear the flesh many aquatic animals like the sharks have are carnivores and they have strong jaws and sharp teeth moving on to the next group of feeding habits of animals we are going to talk about the insects so insects like your mosquitoes and butterflies have a feeding tube called proboscis so insects like the mosquitoes and butterflies have a feeding tube called proboscis and this helps them to suck liquids mosquitoes have a needle like proboscis whereas butterflies have a coiled proboscis so that is why when a mosquito sits on us we feel pain it is because the proboscis is like a shape like a needle whereas for a butterfly it is shaped like a coil so talking about 
the feeding habits of insects the insects like the mosquitoes and butterflies have a feeding tube called proboscis and these help to suck liquids mosquitoes have a needle like proboscis whereas butterflies have a coiled proboscis